latitudes and longitudes class 5 social studies children you have learnt earlier that a grid lines that form squares or rectangles on a map help us to find places the equator divides the earth into two equal hemispheres and the equator is an imaginary line that does not exist on the earth but is drawn on maps and globes in this lesson we will learn about latitudes longitudes difference between latitude and longitude and finding places with the help of latitudes and longitudes like the equator the other lines drawn on maps and globes are real lines however since the surface of the earth does not have them we say that they are imaginary lines on the earth these lines are called latitudes and longitudes let us see what is latitude first the equator is drawn on globes and maps around the center of the earth it is called latitude it is a circle that divides the earth into two equal halves the northern and southern hemisphere in each hemisphere lines parallel to the equator are drawn from the equator to the poles these are also latitudes and also circles like the equator as the latitude moves closer to the poles the circles get smaller eventually each pole the latitude is just a dot this diagram will show you all these latitudes each latitude is given a number the equator is numbered as 0 degrees which is written as 0 degrees the numbers of the other latitudes go from 1 to 90 degrees in each hemisphere latitudes numbered 1 2 and 3 are close to the equator latitudes numbered 60 70 or 80 are far away from the equator the latitude at each pole is numbered 90 degree the number of latitudes shows how close or far it is from the equator the equator is numbered as just 0 degree but the numbers of the other latitudes are followed by n or s this tells us whether the latitude is in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere there are two sets of special latitudes the first set is near the equator these are called the tropics they are the tropic of cancer in the northern hemisphere its number is 23 and a half degrees n and the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere its number is 23 and a half degrees s the second set of special latitudes is near the poles these are the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere its number is 66 and a half degrees n and the antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere its number is 66 and a half degrees s longitudes longitudes are lines that are drawn from one pole to the other each longitude starts at the north pole and ends at the south pole so each longitude is a semicircle the longitudes are also numbered the longitude numbered as 0 degrees is known as the prime meridian meridian equals line of longitude This diagram shows that longitudes are drawn east or west of the prime meridian. They are also numbered. Starting with the 0 degrees of the prime meridian, the number of the longitude is followed by E for east, T or W for west. A longitude that is 10 degree E 
will be east of the prime meridian and 10 degree W will be the west of the prime meridian. The longitudes continue east and west, round the globe, up to 180 degrees. This is exactly opposite the prime meridian and it is where the longitudes from the east and west meet. This longitude is called the 180th meridian. It does not have either E or W written after it. The two semicircles, the prime meridian, and the 180th meridian form a circle, that divides the earth into two halves. The eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Difference between latitudes and longitudes. Latitudes are circles of different sizes. The equator is the biggest circle and latitude near the poles is the smallest circle. The latitude at each pole is a dot. And longitudes are semicircles of the same size. They go from one pole to the other. Latitudes are parallel to each other, so they never meet. Whereas longitudes meet at the poles. They are widest apart at the equator. Latitudes run in an east-west direction. Longitudes run in the north-south direction. The equator is numbered as 0 degrees. The other latitudes are numbered from 1 degree to 90 degrees, N or S depending on which hemisphere they are in. 4. The prime meridian is numbered as 0 degrees. The other longitudes are numbered from 1 degree onwards with the or W added to the number, depending on whether they are east or west of the prime meridian. The meridian on the opposite side of the prime meridian, where longitudes from the east and west meet, is numbered as 180 degrees, and is called the 180th meridian. Finding places with the help of latitudes and longitudes. You have learned earlier how to find places on a map, for this you need a grid of numbered lines in each map, an index where the names of places are given in alphabetical order. The index tells you the number of square or rectangle in which a place is. In an atlas, for younger students, the lines in a map are number A, B, C and so on and 1, 2, 3, and so on. However, in most maps, the lines of latitude and longitude form the grid. Therefore, in the index, the grid numbers for a place will be the numbers of the latitude and the longitude. These are called the coordinates for the place. With these numbering too, you can find a place in a map in same way. The lines of latitude and longitude help us to understand several things about the Earth. Remember, the lines of latitude and longitude are drawn on maps and globes but are imaginary lines on the surface of the Earth. Latitudes are drawn parallel to the equator. The two tropics and the Arctic and Antarctic circles are special latitudes. Longitudes are semicircles drawn from pole to pole. All the latitudes and longitudes are numbered. Latitudes and longitudes form a grid on maps that helps to locate places. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.